Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 358 of our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us in some way. Today and every day this month, happy Christmas Eve, by the way. I know I'm not supposed to say that in timestamp videos, but you know what? Sundays are so exciting that you just want to share them and mark them in history. So today is Christmas Eve here in my neck of the woods, United States. Uh, Wisconsin actually very cold super duper duper cold out I mean cold enough that you hurry and let the dogs out and let them back in because it's that cold and they come with fur coats went out uh, yesterday for a little bit but it was nasty it's been really bitter cold we've got beautiful blankets of snow so you couldn't ask for a prettier white Christmas but it is definitely very cold so this month every day I'm asking two questions Bad deeds equals bad person is our first question. The second one is round pizza square boxes. I know some of the questions are ridiculous. I admit I got them from lists on the internet of, of random questions. And I just, when I was traveling, went through the list and I randomly assigned two per day. There wasn't really much rhyme or reason to it, but part of that is intentional. Sometimes we just need to check in and have something not super stressful or overwhelming to think about, but something that we can just click into and think about as we're going about our day. And today for me, super busy day, although I'm quite proud yesterday, I got all the wrapping done, stockings are ready to go, everything is set for tonight with companies. So today it's just, I think I'm gonna knock out some cookies, some more cookies because we've actually eaten all the Christmas cookies. I think there's maybe a, a dozen of them left. So I need to make a couple of things of cookies and, and get ready for tonight because the granddaughters are coming and Santa's going to visit and it's going to be lots and lots of fun. So what are our questions today? Question number one is, let me grab my handy dandy giant magnifying glass. It says, does doing a bad deed make you a bad person? And this is one to really think about today because personally, I hope not because I, like almost every other human being I suspect on the planet, has done at least one bad thing. And maybe we didn't intentionally know it was a bad thing, but it negatively impacted somebody else or something. We said the wrong thing or we hurt someone's feelings or we, we snapped at them or we yelled at them. Have we ever yelled at anyone? Ah, yes! Of course we have and is that a bad deed we all get to define what's a bad deed and and how many bad deeds does it take to make you a bad person I did a little bit of research on this online and of course most of the titles of things are are grandiose one bad deed can destroy your life and it's true you know we can do one bad thing and have massive negative repercussions in our life but does that mean we're a bad horrible human being I, it's up for each of us to decide I think that uh, we're not the judges of anybody but ourselves. At least that's how it should be. We judge ourselves, and if it feels bad to us, then it's not the right thing to do. If it doesn't, uh, then maybe we need to check our morals and our values. I don't know. It's, it's, it's unique to each and every one of us. We all have that line in the sand that we draw, and we say, no, nope, my behavior won't go below the line. It's just going to always stay above the line. And sometimes we're right on the line. We're teetering on the line, but we all make mistakes. And to me... A lot of people would define any type of misunderstanding or argument or raising your voice. I mean, again, we each define what's bad to us. If it makes us feel bad, it's probably bad, right? So that's our first question. Our second question is very, very silly, but being an engineer and manufacturer, I totally understand why this thing is. And it, the question is, why do round pizzas come in square boxes? And to me, this is one of those duck questions. They come in square boxes because round boxes do not store or stack particularly well. Nowadays, there's incredible packaging and there's a lot of things that come in round boxes. But you'll notice if it comes in a round box, it probably is delivered in a box with dividers in it that hold the round boxes where they're supposed to be. So to me, that's an engineering practicality question. Round boxes, round pieces come in square boxes so that the pizza place can pre-make and stack and store boxes so that they're ready when they need them to give you better customer service. So those are our questions today. I want to wish you and yours and whatever your situation is, I want to wish you an absolutely amazing, splendid holiday. I got this amazing cup from my sister yesterday. She sent it with my son and my son-in-law as a surprise, which I love because she knows I love awesome coffee mugs and this is a beautiful Christmas mug. My other sister 
sent me these beautiful red earrings, which I was super excited to wear today. It's part of why I picked red to wear today on Christmas Eve, so I could wear these beautiful earrings. All right, if I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with two more questions. Yep, even on Christmas Day, because when I say I'm going to do a 365-day challenge, we do a 365-day challenge, and we do it every day. And you know what? It's fun to show up every day, because first and foremost, we're showing up for ourselves, and then we're showing up for other people. All right. Have an awesome Christmas Eve, and I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.